What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Actually, come to think of it, for some of you guys, this might be your first time here. For those of you who don't know, I actually did an interview with David Bombal a week or so ago, and now he's being featured on his channel. In this video, I walk you through hacking Wi-Fi devices using a Flipper Zero and Hashcat. So definitely, if you haven't seen that video yet, hop on over to David Bombal's channel and check it out. Moving right along. So I'm assuming most of you know what DEF CON is, but for those who don't, DEF CON is a giant hacking convention held in Las Vegas once every year. Hackers from across the world unite to share information, to share their research, and also to share badges. Now, I was not lucky enough to go this year. However, a couple community members sent me their flipper-centric badges. So right up top, I want to thank Amelia and Make It Hacken for sending me these badges. They are so cool. But that's enough intro for now, let's get right at it. First of all, again, I wanna thank Amelia and Make It Hacking for sending me these things. I know there was a ton of research involved in creating these and they're actually pretty expensive just on their own. So anytime anyone sends me anything to make content with, I am super, super appreciative of it. So let's switch over to the top down camera and take a look. All right, so the first board we're gonna show off is actually one from Amelia. So let me plug my gamer batteries into here. Yeah. And let's take a look at this guy. All right, switching over to manual focus and exposure just to give you a really good view of this thing. It's so, so cool. Now, it's important to remember that these were created just by normal people in the community, just like you and me. If you want to create cool stuff like this, that leads us to today's sponsor. PCBWay. PCBWay provides all of the easiest tools and the most options to make sure anything you want to do can become a reality. They offer 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and PCB design and printing. They can also assemble the PCBs for you. You can even supply the parts for them to do it with. So if you have a project that you don't have the means of making yourself, PCBWay's got you covered. As always, thank you PCBWay for the continued support. Let's get back at it. So this board is effectively a copy of an Arduino Nano V3. So that's really cool. And then the board was also made with help from Awok and Lily. You can tell by the Aklupanin on the bottom. The original design and prototyping was all done by Amelia. And then Awok came in to help with the schematic. And then Lily hopped over to help with KiCad and stuff just to get the entire thing designed. So what this badge does is it's actually a laser tag game, which is really cool. We've got a reset button up here. Then we have a little IR receiver transmitter right here, which is super cool. And then we have our transmit button. So let me put this down. Let me grab my flipper. We'll go check this out. I'm going to go ahead and grab our flipper over here. Now, actually, Amelia even printed this cool case out of me. This is one of my designs. Well, kind of. The main design already existed. I added squatch and then these cool infill patterns. I've been experimenting a ton with these. So we've got a few others I've done with infills like that. That's pretty cool. Same, clear back. This guy's got a little bit of a cool branchy vibe going on. That's fun too. So let's pop off our Wi-Fi boards, since we don't need that right now, and switch over to IR. Cool, so now if we just go to learn new remote, what it's actually gonna do is I can press the button on this side here and it's gonna read it. Boom, and you can actually hear it goes off on there. So now I've captured the, basically the shooting part of the game that's been transmitted with this, and then I can send it back out. And you'll see when I do that, it actually does damage to the badge. It's super, super cool. Now, one of the other things that this does is when I die, so I can go all the way down to zero HP, game over. If you press the button to reset, it actually resets everybody's badge. I know Amelia also made a bunch of other codes for the flipper, so she could go around healing people, reviving people, and all sorts of stuff like that. It's so well thought out. I mean, the people and the amount of time that they spend on these DEF CON badges, it's really cool. It's a whole community in itself. So that's Amelia's badge. It's been getting a ton of attention. It's just a really cool idea. You know, running around, playing laser tag with friends. I mean, I know DEF CON's a really uh, crowded place, but yeah, these are really, really cool. So uh, let's move on and take a look at our next badge. All right, and our next badge is the Super Duper Flipper Flooper. Now, when I first saw this thing, I really didn't know what to think about it. It's so ridiculous and 
it's just kind of wacky, but it is so cool. I am 100% on board for the super duper flipper flooper. Take a look at the back. It's got a whole bunch of information about his GitHub. This is from Make It Hacken, also known as at Flipper Locator on Twitter. So yeah, really cool. Let's get it plugged in and I'll show you what it does. Go ahead and grab our flipper and get this thing plugged in. Boom. Hey. Now this does operate on five volts, so we have to manually turn that on, but that's no big deal. All we gotta do is go into GPIO, which is over here. Whoop, there we go. And turn on five volt, ready? Let's go. Boom. So we have actually menu buttons. So button A and then button B over here. Button B scrolls through all of our options. So I'll give you a quick once over of, you know, the options here, and then I'll show you how everything works. All right, so we'll scroll through. So we've got flashy mode. That's what I first saw this thing doing. And man, flashy mode is so great. I love it. Uh, moving on, we've got a game. He actually built a game into this, and it's it's a pretty good game for what it is. I mean, this is a really small OLED screen, so the fact that there's any actual playability to the game is kind of cool. Um, let's see, moving on. And you can set the flash text. Now, I did set some custom text on this myself. It's a little cumbersome because there's only two buttons, but the way um, he implemented the, the button switch or the letter switch is pretty clever. So. I mean, even for the limited amount that you can do with the two buttons, it's, you know, really clever. Great job. And then it's got a flashlight. I'll turn this on now. It's probably going to break my camera, but yeah, there we go. That's the flashlight. It's actually a useful feature. I mean, some of these things are just kind of silly, but like, obviously, if you, there's an application where you need a flashlight, it's a great little flashlight. We'll turn that off. Cool. And that's the uh, the main screen or the beginning of the menu. So first off, let's check out flashy mode. I love flashy mode. It's so cool. I hope it shows up well on camera because it's well, it's quite flashy. So we're going to start it and let's start it once and we'll let it play through. Ready? Let's go. Awesome. That was so cool. All right, so next let's check out the game mode. There we go. Flipper game start. So basically this is like a, um, it's got speakers. Um, you have to go through and try to shoot the little things with your flipper as you go by. Boom. Red's bad. I don't know. Oh, and that's what happens when you die. You can pick the cuffs, which makes you uh, play the game again or you can uh, serve time, which brings you back to the menu. So let's pick cups. Let's see if I can do any better this time. Bam. Eh. Got him. Got him. The first time I was playing, watching it in my uh, my OBS. Now I'm actually watching the screen. Ah. There we go. Doing better. Ah. Come on. And it like opens the door, which is pretty funny. Ah, flip. Open door. Not too early. Got it. A score 14. Not bad. So, yeah. And if we go to serve time, this brings us back to our main menu. What a cool badge. But he actually also shipped it with uh, a lanyard and a clip to make it fit or make it an actual badge that hangs around your neck. So let me grab those and get those put on. Okay. So right there. Let me unplug the board because we need to go underneath it. And then, yeah, it just kind of slides right over. And the way it's set up is that the uh, the middle of this case goes right around the pins. It's a 3D printed little case. I could print one of these myself if I wanted to, which I might. Who knows? There we go. Now it fits right on there perfectly. And then you can just clip a lanyard to up here. Let me turn it back on. The one thing that's a little bit annoying about 5 volt, and I think he's got a 3v3 version of it. Uh, is that you have to manually enable 5 volt over and over again, but now we got it back. So yeah, really cool. And then, oh yeah, the back of it, you've got yeah, that. That's right. It clips onto the, the back part. So you don't actually put a ton of pressure on these because it would just pull the board out. So yeah, really cool. Also included with this were googly eyes. So we can glue these guys on there and this look pretty cute. So that's pretty fun. I might actually glue those on. I'm not sure yet, but it looks super cool. So I can stand it up with the eyes. Hey, look at that. Do, do, do. Do they Google? Nah, now he's only one eye. He's a pirate now. 
Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! So there are two really cool boards, and I also was really psyched to feature these because they're they're flipper focused. There's so many awesome badges at DEF CON. I mean, there's probably hundreds of different badges out there. I've seen some pictures of some really, really cool stuff. But these ones were specifically made for Flipper, and anytime anything's, you know, in the Flipper community, I love to showcase it. Now, I absolutely love seeing so many cool projects coming from the Flipper Zero community. What's also great to see is just the collaboration between different creators. Amelia was able to reach out to both Awok and Lily for help completing this badge, and I mean, their efforts do not go unnoticed. Make it Hackens badge is so cool. The fact that they went through all the effort to add a game mode to it, I mean, this is just crazy. It's such a cool idea. I have always said that Flipper Zero is all about the community behind it because it's the community which drives the innovation, which drives excitement and the interest for this thing. If you have any cool Flipper stuff, let me know. Leave a comment down below, join the Discord, but I'd love to see it. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, it helps me out a ton. It's been great hanging out with you. We'll catch you next time.